What's up, baby? It's Max, and you are watching Hollywire. What's up, baby? Oh, <laughs> on your nails. I love, I love it. They, see, we like are very coordinated here today. Um, so what's up? You just, not so long ago, you were on tour. How was your tour? It was wonderful. It was difficult. I had um, something in my vocal cord. And so I got a surgery right after, um, was silent for four months, and uh, I'm in this new electrifying, bright world with new music coming out. How do you get something stuck in your vocal? Did you, how, how does that happen? It's kind of like being an athlete. I mean, if you use it too much, it just, uh, you, can, you can tear stuff, you can hurt stuff. And I'm grateful that I came out back and better than ever. Better than ever, I'm sure. Um, and you got some new music coming up. We're super excited for that. Tell us the vibe. Give us like some a little sneak peek of the music. It uh, comes out April 5th. It's called Love Me Less. This new uh, energy for the songs, it's electrifying. It's bright. It's yellow. And the song is with my friend Quinn92. And, uh, you know, I just want people to, to just jam and feel their best selves when they listen to it. So I hope they dig it. Sure. Um, speaking of friends, when you did go on tour, you were with Ezzy and Bryce Fine. I, I love Ezzy. She's like the sweetest person ever. What was the highlight of that tour for you? Oh my gosh, playing in my hometown, New York, sold out show at Irving Plaza, where I used to see so many bands. Like that's, those are the little moments that you just keep in your heart, and uh, it was special to have them be a part of it. Absolutely. Um, and what is something that nobody really knows about you? Give us, give us the tea. Something somebody doesn't really know about me. Um, I love I love monkeys a lot. I have I feel like in a prior life I was a monkey, and my last video was for a song called Worship, and it was with Crystal, the monkey from The Hangover. No way! A monkey right now, I'd be happier to see that monkey than any celebrity ever. Anyone here? So that's a little fun fact. Dang. Okay. Well, no monkeys performing at iHeart tonight. There could be surprises. You never know. But probably not. Probably not. Um, who are you excited to see though perform? We have some great names tonight. Ariana, Lavin Marshmallow, so many friends. I love rooting for friends on stage. Love that. All right. Well, thanks so much, Max. Good to see you. You look so great. What's up? This is Betty Who, and this is Holly Wire. to chat with you Betty I'm like literally so excited I have yet to see a live performance and I hear your live performance is everything thank you so much um, I hope people are saying that uh, it's one of my favorite parts of what I do I, it's like my I feel like I'm in my elements when I'm on stage so I'm really I'm looking forward to getting back out on tour what is your key like what is your the thing that you go on stage with the mentality you go on stage with every time what's you know what's the secret you know I think I, I don't really get nervous I get excited I get really like I just want to go like Excuse my language, I want to I literally am just like, I get, I'm backstage and I feel like I'm I'm in this turbo mode and I'm like, I want to go, do, I just want to go be there. I want to go get it. And so I think for me, that kind of like gives me this really excited, like very tangible energy that I then get to like explode with on stage, which is really, I think half the reason it's like, I'm trying to keep it real fun. Yeah. And I was just listening to you, the message you just said, like about being yourself and owning it and like saying screw you to all the people that make you feel insecure. Oh my gosh. Like so amazing. And is that what you hope that people kind of feel from your music when they listen to it, you know? Nothing would make me happier than someone to listen to my record and be like, I'm cool with me today. Like, cause that's kind of all I sort of am trying to achieve as like as a functioning adult, like just trying to be cool with me today also is a big part of my daily routine. So I think um, I try and put that into my music and try and create a space where everybody can come and feel like they, nobody's gonna judge them or you can whatever. I don't care. I don't care what who you are. We oh, don't care. We are. We I love us. You. If you're you, I'm psyched. For sure. Yeah. And before I let you go, yes. who are you most? Have you fangirled over anyone tonight? There's so many great people here. I fangirled over the Backstreet Boys, and I was really trying to be cool, and I really wasn't cool, and I'm really nervous because Kevin looked right in my eyes, and I was like, oh my god, hi. So I'm. I really wasn't cool with the Backstreet Boys, but um, I'm definitely really excited to watch Casey because she's one of my favorite people in the world. Um, I think she's so talented, and she's really having a moment. I'm so proud of her. She is having a moment. She really is. Talk about it. Talk about a moment. Her 75 Grammys. She's doing just fine. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Betty. You're such a joy to talk to.